Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the symmetries of a square. So we will call that group to be the set of set D4. So what is D4? D4 is the group of symmetries of square. So let us see what is this group. So I will take a square now and I will label the corners of the square. So I will label them as one, two, three and four. Okay. So the first uh, symmetry of a square is that you will do nothing to the square. So that I will call it row naught. I will not do any movement. I will keep one, two, three, four at the same places, one, two, three, four. So this is the identity element of D4. Okay. Now what I will do is I will uh, take the reflection. So when I do the reflection along this horizontal line, okay, that reflection will do what? When I do the reflection, where will the symbols 1, 2, 3, 4 go to? So I will draw a new figure for that. Okay, so I will write here mu 1. What is mu 1? Mu 1 is when I do the reflection along that horizontal line, this 1, 2, 3, 4 will get changed to what? 1 will become uh, one will uh, le let me call this. Uh, let me not take horizontal line, let me take the for vertical line first. So that I'm going to call mu one. So in that case, one and two will get interchanged, okay, and three and four will also get interchanged. So this will be two, one, and then four and three. So what is mu one in mu one? What has happened? One, two, three, four, the place of one is taken by 2 so 1 is going to 2 and 2 is going to 1 and what has happened to 3 and 4 3 and 4 have also changed the places where the, where there was 3 now 3 has been replaced by what 3 has been replaced by 4 and 4 has been replaced by 3 so this is mu 1 so mu 1 means what mu 1 means reflection vertical reflection but uh, if i take the horizontal reflection of one two three four this is the original square okay when i take the horizontal reflection that element i'm going to call mu2 and mu2 is going to do what when you take the horizontal reflection one and four are going to change places so one becomes four and four becomes one two and three are also going to replace their places so two becomes three and three becomes two so in that case this particular square will now look four three two and one this is the next element of d4 which is symmetry of a square right mu2 now we can also do a reflection we are we are again going to use reflection which will keep the square as it is okay it will not change the square in the form so what i will do is i will take uh, i will take reflection along the diagonal i will take this left diagonal okay i will take this line and then i will because it's a square so uh, this one two three four now what will happen in this reflection when i do this type of reflection what will happen one and three are going to change the places so that is a diagonal so one two three four one and three will get changed one will go to three and three will go to one and two and four will remain as it is two and four will not change the position because i'm just reflecting the diagonals so 2 and 2 remains 2 and 4 remains 4 so in this case this will become what 3 2 1 4 so this is reflection along the diagonal which is passing through 2 and 4 i can also take a reflection along a diagonal which is passing through what which is passing through 1 and 3 so 1 2 3 4 and when i do that reflection I'm going to call it delta 2, okay? And then delta 2 will become what? Uh, 1 and 3 will remain fixed. 1 and 3 will not change, okay? 
so one two three four so one and three will remain fixed but what will happen to two and four two will go to the position of four and four will go to the position of two so two becomes four and four becomes two so this becomes the fourth element remember what we have done the first element was uh, row not which was no movement then second was mu one which was vertical movement mu two uh, vertical reflection mu two was horizontal reflection delta one was left diagonal and delta two is the right diagonal now we can we do something more to the square so that the square remains in the same same position okay i don't want the square to become like this okay this is not good i don't want it this fashion so i will rotate it by what i will rotate it by i will i will keep the center of the square fixed okay and i will rotate the square once by once by what once by 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees so i will rotate it by 90 degrees when i rotate it by 90 degrees what will happen this one which is here will come at this position so the new one will come at this position okay then and this two will go to this position right and therefore three and four will go at these positions so this is rotation of the square keeping the center fixed at the same like equilateral triangle one two is rotated to two three one similarly we are now going to rotate it by 90 degrees and that rotation by 90 degrees once is called as row one and what is row one row one is one two three four and the rotation will give me what uh, the rotation is giving me one minute let me just check if i've done the rotation in the correct fashion okay okay i will not rotate it in the clock in the anti-clockwise sense i will rotate it in the clockwise sense okay so i will uh, now rotate what let me just remove this okay so to obtain the new permutation row one i'm going to rotate the entire square in the clockwise fashion by 90 degrees so what will happen this two will come here okay this two will come here and this uh, one will come here okay when this two comes here and one comes here then accordingly this three and four will be here so that i will get one two three four in the sequence okay so what is this rotation row one in rotation row one one has become two two has become three three has become four and four has become what four has become one so this is the rotation row one by 90 degrees in the clockwise fashion when i rotate the same square by 180 degrees means I'm going to rotate the this square by 90 degrees, which is nothing but or, or, orational square. One, two, three, four is rotated by what? It is rotated by 180 degrees. So in that case, what will happen? The two will then one will become one will become three, and two will become four, three will become one and four will become two so this is the new type of uh, second type of rotation and it is rotation by 180 degrees so it will be three four one and two and you can again rotate it now the rotation will be by what angle now the rotation will be by 270 degrees so when i do the rotation by 270 degrees that i'm going to call row three that i'm going to call row three and this will be one two three four and then that square the labels of the square will become what will become four one two three means one two three four okay in this fashion so one will go to four two will go to one three will go to two and four will go to three so these are the 
three types of rotations and these are the only symmetries of the square so that set is called as what d4 so d4 is containing eight elements the eight elements i'm writing here so that we can refer them whenever we want one two three four goes to one two three four then mu1 which is the mu1 is a vertical reflection the vertical reflection gives you one two three four sorry one two three four becomes two one four three okay and uh, next is horizontal reflection which is one two three four will become four three and two one the left diagonal was delta 1 delta 1 1 2 3 4 in delta 1 1 and 3 get changed 2 and 4 remain fixed in delta 2 which is the right diagonal in this 1 2 3 4 2 and 4 get changed and uh, 1 and 3 remain fixed this is delta 1 then you have once rotation rotation by 90 degrees 1 2 3 4 will become 2 3 4 1 and row 2 is rotation by 180 degrees this will become 3 4 1 2 and third rotation which is rotation by 270 degrees is 1 2 3 4 will become 4 1 2 3 okay so these are all the elements of what these are the eight elements of d4 which represent what which represent the symmetry of uh, what of a square now what we will do is we will uh, prepare the composition table for this particular set d4 so i'm going to write here composition a composition b and the vertical people I'm going to call A and the horizontal people I'm going to call B. And I'm going to fill those uh, entries in the table. I'm going to write row naught. Then I'm going to write row one. The four rotations, okay? Zero rotation, once rotation, twice rotation, and thrice rotation. Then here I'm going to write mu one, vertical reflection, horizontal reflection, left diagonal and right diagonal so these elements i'm going to write here row naught row one row two row three then mu one mu two delta one and delta two okay and this table has eight rows and eight columns and we now have to do what 64 compositions uh, to complete this particular table yes so this is a complete table of what this is a complete table of D4 now.